Um, the SAC 12, and I, I'm, I'm efforting it right now. I have it because I, I, I tweeted it yesterday. Uh, here are the five, uh, five of the touch points for the committee's path to the PAC-12. Number one, securing $50 million in NIL commitments to cover the first 10 years in the PAC-12. So $5 million to, for an effective salary cap for upper-level players. Number two, securing funding and approvals to build a new state-of-the-art football stadium that seats at least 25,000 attendees. Number three, securing funding and approvals to build a basketball arena that seats at least 6,500 attendees. Number four, turning out at least 15,000 attendees per home football game for the remainder of the season. Now, Jason, I did, I did take a, a, a look here. And it, it, I, it, I can't find an average attendance for this year or last year, but it, it sounds like... Well, there was 12 uh, something at the first game. Yeah, it seems like they're averaging, just putting together the games I looked at, you know, and some are going to be higher. And lower yeah, than it's, really it's, it's around 12 or 13. Yeah. I don't think that's a huge ask. And with the Causeway this year and the Causeway two years ago, I had the record was like 23, 24. Right, so, right. Um, and the Causeway is at Sac State this year, so they might be able to get to that number anyway. Uh, and then fifth, securing five and a quarter million dollars in conference fees for NCAA realignments into the Pac-12. Now, uh, they also announced some other people uh, involved on the committee. And, you know, they've got they've got some pretty. Th- this is this is a look. This is a, a, a ha- no, I wouldn't say a hail mary, but this is a this is a thirty yard pass on uh, third and twelve. Maybe uh, I'm trying to. I don't want to call it a hail mary because I, I think there's some realism to it. Uh, and and we're gonna I, we're we're gonna try to get somebody who hasn't been announced on this committee yet, who's been really running a lot of the the X's and O's behind the scenes uh, to to come on tomorrow. But they haven't been announced yet as part of the committee. And I, I, I think Jason just the sin is oh, look full stop. I think it's great. I hope I want I want to do anything we could, you could, any of us could to make it. It's what it you, you never. You miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah, but that's a lot of that's a lot of dough for a football stadium and a basketball stadium combined. Uh, the fifty million in NIL, I I, I think that's I, I I think that's doable with with the amount of alumni, businesses, people they can reach out to. The other five million to get in the Pac twelve, that's that's very very doable. So that's fifty five million there. I don't have an issue with that. My my question is just simply where are you find I don't know how much it is. It's certainly not going to be like Golden One Center type money, but we're talking two, three hundred million somewhere in that range for both combined. I would imagine is in the ballpark. Where's that going to come from? Right, that's my question. Yeah, that, I mean, all projects, all things, all goals. It, you follow the money. How is it going to happen? Yes. I mean, I think the school already has some plans on their own facility wise potential football stadium they've talked about some improvements or difference uh arenas they've they've this has all been talked about but yes. it's also talk you know that it has to get done to the next level so i think to have political leaders people in sacramento that really the core of this is i think they have the city's best interest absolutely the school side i can speak from there i i think i could speak from their side i interviewed the athletic director mark Orr on the tv broadcast at halftime the other night yeah how'd that go it was great and i think his stance was look the school has i don't even know if they have to be careful that's not the right way to say it they're currently in a conference right i think if you asked him if you asked the president would like if you asked a lot of people would they rather be in the mountain west or the or the pac-12 i'm sure they would right but because what would that mean some of these things that the sac-12 is looking to do would probably come to fruition so that would mean more opportunities, better for the school, better facility. Like, who wouldn't want all of that? But I think the key to all of that is all these things can happen. All these things can be proposed. All these things should be pursued. You still have to be invited to this party. And yes, as, as of now, like, we could have the best PR, the yes. best campaign, all the renderings, even progress towards all this. And they might go, yeah, we're not interested. Yeah, I'm glad you invited to the party. I'm glad you brought that up because I I do. That is one point I wanted to speak on. So, and and again, this is just me being, I don't think cynical is the right word, but you know, we have a fair understanding about how some of these things work. I find it incredibly hard to believe. In fact, I find it impossible to believe that 
you have politicians, business heads. There's no way, by the way, like this is an independent group, the SAC-12. There's no way this has happened without the go-ahead from SAC State. It's just, that's yeah. just not going to happen. Yeah, they mean that publicly. But yeah, they can't publicly. Yeah, yeah right. to your point, they're but in they're a conference. Be that. They're, of course, they're sure. going to be behind it. There's been meetings and conference right. calls, and this has been planned for a long time. So here's what I'm saying. There's no way everybody puts their you-know-whats on the guillotine right. without some sort of conversation with the Pac-12. There's no way they're just surprise. Yeah, we want to get into the Pac-12. Right. I'm not saying the Pac-12. What I'm, uh, yeah, I'm Pac-12 not, could be like, yeah, go for it. That's that, as opposed to. I think it's a little more than go for it, Jay. And again, this is me guessing. Yeah, and it's a little bit more than go for it. I think it's we are open. Here's the here's what you yeah. would need to do. Right. That doesn't guarantee we're not guaranteeing sure. anything, but if you want to take a shot at it, we're listening. Here's your time. And that's right. With this chaos, this is the opportunity. I think the best carrot that Sacramento has is the market. That's right. In California, yes. I mean, that's the media market. That's their number one thing. Yep. Now those other things are huge sure. places they've got to make up ground. Yeah. Also their their market, their location geographically yep. as well. You're not going to find a bigger market on this side of the uh, the Pecos, if you will. Yep. So uh, very interesting and we'll continue to to monitor that and uh, see if we can't get somebody d- just to on tomorrow to talk about this drive towards the pac 12 and or the mountain west and if you're driving towards the pac 12 what better car to do it in than a hoblet dodge chrysler jeep or ram because right now let's talk about jeep adventure days right now up to 12 grand off msrp on 2023 dodge charger sxt starting as low as 28 7 15 hey 